can't tell how big she is, brother. Oh, that's a pretty good one. You gotta love it right there. Beautiful fat bass. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also, hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. We're gonna be fishing some really clear water today for some big bass. Actually, got my boy Fletcher here with what's me. What's going on, guys? And, uh, it's been a minute. The first video that we filmed together in 2022. Yeah, so that's this, pretty dope. This is. So you know what that means? We gotta go catch some big ones, right? The big ones are imminent. We got ten pounders to make are it inbound. Happen. So we need, nah, we need 11. 11, 11 pounder. 12 pounder, yeah. <laughs> um, he did catch a big one a few weeks ago and then about two months ago, I caught a really big one yeah. as well. So hopefully we're gonna get on him today. I hope you guys enjoy this one. We're gonna hop right into the action. Let's get it. It is time to do some fishing. We got us a, I've never, have you had one of these, Fletcher? I have not. A cliff yeah, builder's like bar, I don't know. Yeah, it's a cliff bar, but it's like a protein one. And it has, it's chocolate peanut butter, sounds pretty good. I got this bougie water because they only sell bougie <laughs> water in that place. I got my hat, got my fishing pole, and we are ready to go. All right, Fletcher, the trick is do not fall in when you're getting on the boat. I'll okay. do my best. The last time we actually fished, <laughs> some crazy stuff almost happened. <laughs> there we go we're off we're good we're good look how crystal clear the water is dude dude the water is super clear that underspin bite is gonna be yeah fire. it is look at how clear it is so that's the one thing i've noticed fletcher i don't know if you noticed the same thing but over the last like three months everywhere you've probably been to is super clear isn't it super, super, super. like it's clearer than clear as that water in this water bottle <laughs> but yeah guys we're gonna get it started today see what we can catch i'm gonna show you guys exactly what you know i'm gonna be rigging up if you guys want to check out like fletcher's perspective of today you can check it out on his channel but i want to show you guys what i'm going to be rigging up what i'm going to be doing and uh hopefully we're gonna catch some really big ones today we are rocking with the kicking their bass tv combos if you guys want to check them out they're only available on kickingtheirbass.com we got the right hand bait caster left hand bait caster and also spinning combos i have this rigged up a 20 pound line i usually use 17 but this is all i had in the moment so yeah this is what we're going to be rocking with i am going to cut this bait off and tie some knot real quick i'm not just stealing your lures dude i'm <laughs> actually cutting it off your own rod so yeah dude i've never met someone with Listen. so much tackle that just has to steal my lures every time they get on my dude bike. it's a tradition with you man like with nobody else like i've never steal anyone else's lures but like when i'm with you it's it's, it's a tradition you know uh no me and fletcher were talking about i don't have like any other underspins and he said he had a few but i don't think he brought them out so he's using like a swim bait but he had this underspin on so i'm just gonna you know cut it right off his rod for him yeah i just thought i'd help you out a little <laughs> I bit you know it. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably just gonna leave my line all unraveled. I'm gonna do a that. loop. Or you want me to do this? Yeah, that's cool. Just so it's taut. Yeah, so it's like on there and then you won't ever get it off for like 12 yeah, years, you know? Just like, just get it right up there in the gears. <laughs> it just get in there it, deep. Yeah, dude. You know, I'm gonna make it twirl like at least 74 times. <laughs> I will say that my brain is not working, bro. Like, I, I, uh, what did I do earlier? I did something. I did walk in the gas station today and just happened to like, throw my glasses and the person behind the counter looked at me and like kind of smiled i was like yeah that's how my morning's going <laughs> all right y'all we're gonna cut off the strike king red eye shad i actually caught a lot on that recently but we are not gonna throw that today we i don't know we might tie it on but right now we are gonna put on this other underspin and this one is by strike king um, and also the swim bait. So if you guys want to get a discount on any of the baits or lures that we use, and by the way, the discount codes were not working this last, like, I really don't know how long I think his were messed up too. So- <laughs> Were they messed up? You didn't even know? I didn't even know. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Yes, they were messed up, dude. So the discount codes work now. Um, I had a phone call the other day and my discount code does work. Link can be down below um, for the Strike King website and also the Lose website. So I just thought I would say that because yeah but yeah that's what we got tied on guys we're gonna get it started and uh let's see if we can get us a good what what would you say three to four pounder fletcher to start oh, off with yeah there's a lot of those in here let's do it brother it grows them by the, by the thousands in here so what are you throwing I'm throwing this little quarter ounce paddle tail which is basically what you're throwing just slow a little rolling smaller. i don't know about half the size no, <laughs> no flash 
I hope they, I don't know, they have to eat an under, dude, that's the one thing, like, I don't care how tough they are, like, an underspinner, a little swim bait, if you just reel it so slow, they gotta eat it, you know what I mean, it's just, it's bound to happen. The wind is a little gnarly today, I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't windy earlier, that's why I'm like, huh. Yeah, it should, it should. You know, maybe it's a blessing in disguise, I just don't know yet. Once we find them, I think it's going to be like that. Oh, yeah. Because we got to find them first. And they could be a little finicky. You know, I, this, like I said, this weather's been so inconsistent. It is like 55 degrees right now, but it's actually chilly because the sun's not out and it's windy. But, um, you know, it was 28 a couple days ago. <laughs> I can literally see that stuff on the bottom from here, which is just crazy. I can man. see it too. I'm going through glasses. it. Through I ripples. should get bit right here. I will literally... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see that? I felt that. <laughs> what if they're in the mouth of that back pocket? I feel like we haven't fished that. Enough. I'll try all this first. Like, what? What just I, happened? I don't know, dude. I swear, if I my think rod, I, I think I was so zoned out. If down. both of our rods, <laughs> right, dude? You, how do you even do that? Like, I haven't slept in thirty hours, but <laughs> that was impressive. This I'm man like, just hooks it because his bait hit the end of his rod. <laughs> oh, dude, out in the middle? Yeah, out in the middle. Oh, that's a good one, dude. Oh, yeah, Ooh, that's a oh, take one. Great start. Yeah, that's a four pounder. Great start. Okay. Absolutely crushed that little swim jig. Come on in here. Swim jig? Or not swim jig, <laughs> swim bait. Dude, yeah, that's a four pounder, bro. Oh, yeah. All, all, day. all day. Yeah. That is four all day, nice, baby. Dude. You thinking four? Um, she's I'd say be, three, eight, eight. Yeah, she's gonna be close. High three, yeah. low four is my prediction. Here, put a number on it. Uh, I'm gonna say three, Nine, three seven five. Three seven five. Three ninety five. Huh. Three point nine five pounds. Basically a four pounder. About as, about as close as you get right there. Good Thanks. job, man. Appreciate it. Always it start, right? Yeah. All right, I'm ready. Just thump me, girl. Just paint me. <laughs> Your body ready? Yeah, dude. I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. I haven't caught a bass this year. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I definitely caught. I've caught a few. No, but seriously, I've only caught a few. I, I haven't gone bass fishing a lot this year. I've, oh, oh, oh my gosh, was that a hit? She spanked me, dude. I, oh god. Oh, that's a. That might be bigger than. That might be a five, bro. That's a big one. That's that's a five pounder. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, dude, she creamed it. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna come on this side, buddy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she baby. That's, that's a five a, pounder. That's oh a my thumper. gosh. She ain't five. She's close. <laughs> oh, that's a tank, buddy. Dude, spank me. I told you, hey, hey. Just spank me, girl. <laughs> she spanked me. Oh man, those are the fish we want to catch, bro. Yes, sir. Let's see what our best five weight today. So you five. have a four, or you have a three nine five. Three nine five. Okay. You can throw her on the. What do you think? I don't know if she's gonna get a four five. and a half, maybe. I'm saying like four and a half, four and three quarters. Yeah. This is a brute, man. <laughs> That's a tank. Zero it out. You can wait on this bad girl. She she spanked me good. Definitely gotta wear. Oh my god. Oh my god. Five? Five point zero three, oh, baby. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Oh yes, let's start off the video with a freaking five pounder. I think that's my first five pound pounder in this lake, Fletch. Is it? Or no, I, I might have caught one or two. But dude, that's a freaking brew, baby. Yo. 5.03, he caught a 3.95, so a four and a five pounder to start off the day, man. That's, <laughs> yeah. We get nine pounds even, basically. 5.03, brew. We're gonna get her back in the water so she can swim another day. That Look at that. That's what you call meatball flesh. <laughs> like slap them neat. Cover your whole hand up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, dude. Yes, um, sir. Got a four on his first fish. I got a five on my first fish. That's a good freaking sign right there. 
we were just talking about it too we're like i hope we get some four or i said three and four pounders yeah. not four yeah. and five so hey don't, don't sell yourself short it did take a minute for us to get those bites guys and those are the only two bites that we had but i mean heck if they're gonna be that big i will wait a little bit see if we can catch another one all right she wants big mac daddy Slow and steady. You got one? Yeah. Big one? Oh! Dang it, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and it gets you frustrated when you don't have a bite for like a dang hour. I get it. I know. Oh, no, that, is, that seemed like a good one, too. Yeah, he, was, he has some weight. He hit it good? Yeah. Yeah. That sucks, good. man. These fish are acting really weird, but I still have high hopes. What if they were biting when the sun was out earlier and then when the clouds came up, it could have turned them off? Oh, that's possible. Fish are weird like that. The Bear Mundy were like that when we went. Yeah. So not something to throw up shallow, but I think we can get them to eat it. Yeah, it has a great flutter, but the tail got hung up. I just want to see like a little boil or like a little like, can you guys just let us know that you're still alive? There could be 20 of them just randomly. Got one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got one? Yeah. Yeah, bro. He's not big. Yo. Smaller one? I can't really tell. Yeah, I think he is. Yeah, a tiny one. He did eat it good though. That might have been a bite before. Okay, I'll take it, dude. I've had a bite in over an hour. Well, over an hour. Well, guys, here's my second fish today. So we have four total. We both caught two. Fletcher did lose one. That's a pretty fish though. He's not big, but it is a pretty one. How do you go from catching a solid five to, to this little squeak? We'll, we'll catch her again when she's 10 plus. <laughs> Definitely. All right, we might be on to something though. We did come up shallow. You know, this whole time we we're fishing offshore and, and in my head, since we got out here, you know, I was talking about it and Fletcher kind of felt it too with this mouth over here. And then when we pulled up, you know, I threw my bait and I saw like a boil next to my bait. And then all of a sudden we heard something splash at the mouth of this little creek. And so we were like, you know, maybe there's some fish roaming back here. So we just came back and sure enough had that fish bite. So there's something back here. I just hope they're bigger than that. Honestly, I won't complain though. I mean, if, if they're gonna bite, dude, they're gonna bite. Like, oh, oh, I don't know if that was a bottom or a slap. It wasn't a spanking, but it definitely was a slap. All right, dude, I'm feeling this little pocket. I, I think we're gonna get a couple in here. So y'all, it has been really tough on us. We've only had four fish today. Um, it's, it's been a little struggle and I'm actually putting on a shaky head because I mean we got to slow down Fletcher has a drop shot on I just put some leader line on on my spinner combo and uh yeah I'm just gonna tie the shaky head on put a little worm and just really slow down I mean it is tough today it's, it's pretty crazy which I mean I I didn't expect it to be insanely good but I really didn't think it would be as slow as it is yeah, today I didn't think it'd be this tough um, I am glad that, you know, he caught one that was about a four and I caught one that was about a five, but it's just, uh, since that, it's just nothing. yeah, since that, and those fish were really random, dude. You know what I mean? They weren't, they weren't in a group. Mine was super random. Yours was at least near something. Yeah. Yeah. Mine was at least near that rock, but I don't know, man. It's, it's been a interesting morning so far, but that doesn't mean that we can't salvage up the day and try to get some more, you know, finessing them out and adjusting to what we're doing right now. All right, y'all, we're going to be putting on just a little finesse worm. This is a uh, KVD Perfect Plastics finesse worm right here. And this is actually a watermelon red flake. So when it comes to, you know, fishing in very clear water, especially like the water we're fishing today, you know, I love using natural colors. I had a Junebug Texas rig on. You guys saw me probably throw it a few times, but that's not really the color I would use in water this clear. Um, you know, this color right here, watermelon red, is a great color in ultra clear water also green pumpkin green pumpkin can be good in dirty and clear water um, but any of your clear colors in natural 
um, worm colors like that work great in clear water. So yeah, that's the one we're using today. If you'd like to get a discount on those baits, like I said, codes down below. Um, but one thing I'm going to do, so we have this little shaky head here and you know, the worms are always tapered at the end. So what I'm going to do is actually bite this little end piece off. Okay. So now it's flat. So now it's going to go up on that head a lot easier. So I put it right there on the end of the hook, break it through just like I would rig up my Texas rig. We're going to bury this hook, make it weedless so we can just lift up and hook that fish. And boom, that's the shaky head that we're going to be rocking with. Watermelon red on a little green pumpkin, quarter ounce head. And uh, we should be able to get some fish. And I'm rocking this on the uh, Kicking Their Bass TV spinning combo. If you guys want to check it out, link will be down below. Only available on your boy's website, kickingtheirbass.com. Let's catch a fish, baby. Fletcher, I never thought we'd just go to drop shots and shaky heads, but... We're there. We're there. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. There he goes. Yep. Yeah. That's a pretty good one. That's a hefty fish. Oh, yeah. yeah. He ate it on the fall, dude. Nice. Right here, this this timber right here that we're fishing. And not even brush piles, it's standing trees. Yeah, that's a good fish, dude. It's a three pounder. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's all right, dude. It's all good. It's all good. That does suck though, not gonna lie. That does hurt the core. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, I lost my last one too. Yeah. Golly, man. Three bites a piece, two fish a piece. So I, I threw it out there like that and I and I went like this. And I just felt weight. I yeah. Like, yeah. I was either gonna lift up and, and have one or I was gonna lift up and hook a good tree, but yeah. golly. Maybe they're in this stuff. It makes sense. Yeah. One thing we haven't hunkered down on, and the one that you caught in your your second bass was in yeah. this. So that's two fish. We haven't had a spot yet where we've caught two fish at. Oh, you got one? Oh, he sucked me straight off, dude. Oh, wait, he broke me right off. What? Did you get broken off? Bang! Wait a minute. I think it snapped high up in the leader. And snap at the bait, I don't think. Why? Look how clean that is. Huh. You might have had a nick or something. Nice, Yo. dude. That's a big one, ain't it? Yo, come here, oh. boy. Oh, that's a meatball. Oh, almost fell. Swim bait? <laughs> oh, yeah, that was swim bait. Let's go. That's a good fish. He's pretty shallow, wasn't he? Yeah, he was up there. That, that thing dropped off the way. But she was right there up on that point, slowing down, throwing finesse for a little bit. Now we got two bites, snapped off. I didn't have any luck on the drop shot to pick that yeah. little paddle tail back up. I bet that's a stubby. <laughs> yeah. stubby dude. We got ourselves a nice one. How about that? There's one. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that's a freaking. Oh, hold on. I got my rod all weird jacked up. Oh, oh dude, little. you got a. Oh, oh. Got a size. She got a little size. Oh. She slammed that sucker. Yeah. She ain't even that big, just a meatball. Oh, that's all she is. That rod's so weird because I was trying to like avoid yeah, I was like my... correcting myself from hitting you. I um it might oh. be that sun coming out, dude. Yeah. The sun might finally getting some bites here. Let's see if I can double up real quick. That's a freaking just fat, man. Yeah, dude, that's a, just that's a... fat. Yeah, that's a, that's a three pounder and a two pounder's body. Oh, uh oh. You got one? Yes, sir, yeah. baby. Uh oh. You know, she seems a little feisty. Yeah. Maybe we found the spot. The sun's coming out. Oh, yeah. This might be a good one, dude. That's a, I can't tell. Ball. Okay. I can't tell how big she is, brother. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Not a five pounder, but it's definitely. She put in some work. She's a solid three. First fish on the shaky head today. You know, I had that one come off. Now I ended up breaking one off. I don't even know if I'm gonna end up rolling that clip, but we got us a nice little one right here. Fletcher just caught one on a swim bait. And now I got this baby on a shaky. Look at that. Ah, she a high two. I don't know, those fish are just brutes, bro. Straight brutes. You gotta love it right there. Beautiful fat bass. Out here with my boy Fletcher, we had a tough day, but we made it work, man. Yeah. We made it work. We had to adjust, and I mean, that's just, that's a good fish. I think the sun coming out definitely helped the bass. 
Do you notice a big difference? Oh, for sure. I mean, we had more bites in the last five minutes, or as many bites in the last five minutes than we did in the last like three, three and a half hours. hours. <laughs> wow. That's a brute, man. These fish are good. Pretty one. Thank you, baby. There she goes. Give me some, brother. Let's get it. Boom. Well, guys, that was my first fish I landed on the shaky head. And it's funny because me and Fletcher were just talking about it because we're about to get tidied up here soon. Um, the sun is going down too, and it is pretty dang chilly. But I was telling him, I was like, dude, if I don't catch another fish today, I'm not going to be mad. And then all of a sudden I feel tick, tick, tick. It was the slightest bite. It wasn't a, it wasn't a hard bite at all. It was just the slight little ticks. And that's how they are on that shaky head sometimes. But, uh, you know, she ended up beating it. Let's see if we can catch another one. Fletcher yeah. just caught one on a swim bait. Heating up. I caught two yeah. on a swim bait. I really think it might be that sun coming out because those clouds were out for a while and we just weren't getting it. So maybe. Sun or time of day or both. Yeah, that sun or that sun coming down right now. Yeah. You know, we're getting later in the afternoon right here. These fish might be firing up. I don't know, honestly, I'm happy with today. You got a, you a four pounder. I got me a five. Got some other good fish. Can't really complain. It was a grind, but we did it.